Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today I'm on Final Fantasy XV. Uh, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, this is probably more of the stuff that I'm going to be doing, just showing different stuff from the games I'm playing, trying to give a little tips here and there uh, about the things I'm doing. But let's get into this video. Uh, it's about maximizing slash optimizing your experience from the game. Uh, now this is mostly for those that are doing side quests, uh, but I'll also break it down to try to give it to those who are just doing the main story, so you can try to optimize it as best as you can that way. Um, but I am in the city of Lestalum right now. Uh, you don't need to be here to do this. You need to only be at, um, you need to be down here at Golden Quay, uh, and we'll go there, uh, momentarily after I've explained the stuff here and also a little bit uh, of the the less optimized but still very good route that you can take here. So once you get here, if you are this far, because this is where you really can start optimizing, you're going to want to come down here to this, uh, I believe he's a, newspaper, he's a newspaper or like a magazine guy, um, and he wants you to take different pictures all over the map uh, of different sites and locations. Uh, and what he gives you, uh, the experience is fine, obviously you want that, but he gives you a lot of gil, he gives you a lot of money, so you're going to want to use him so that you can pay for the uh, room down here. Now, if you're doing the main story and you're not really doing any side quests, the next most optimal place to do this that I have found so far, um, I'm only on the main story quest of, okay, let me go down to quest. There we go. I'm only on the main story quest of the Way of Gods and Kings. Um, I've really been just playing all the side quests and doing all that different stuff because I know there isn't a whole lot of games coming out here in December, so I might as well optimize and play this as much as I can. But we'll run over here really quick, and there are a ton of quests in here that help you build up a lot of experience. What I like to do is just save it up until I am ready to get off for the day. Now, if you don't play for that long, obviously save it up for multiple days. But let's see, where is that hotel? Oh, it's back here. You want to go to the hotel over here because it is super cheap in order to stay here. And it gives you 1.5 times multiplier. It's the best one I've found other than the 2.0. Obviously, I assume there's probably a 1.7 multiplier, uh, if not even higher than 2, but this is the best early game, and you want to talk to him. Um, I'll go ahead and talk to him, but you can see 1.5 time multiplier, and it's only 300 gil compared to the 10,000 you need at the most optimized place. Now, there's also a recipe you can make uh, that gives you a boost of 50%. It's the double stacked sandwich. Um, you get it for completing a quest with one of the, um, one of the, uh, diners. I forget exactly which one it is. Um, it may be this one at Cornick Station, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but there's also one for just the regular, uh, sandwich. Uh, I think it's the ham sandwich. Well, I'll show you here in a second after I've redeemed this experience. I can't redeem it yet. Uh, I can't go to a campsite yet uh, because then it would redeem my experience. But those give you boosted. I forget to do them all the time. I really rarely ever do them uh, because I can barely remember to fill my car up with gas in this game. I barely f remember to fill up the regalia. Uh, so let's go ahead and fast travel down here. And we'll go ahead and I'll show you... Uh, that and then I'll go in over here to the campground and I'll show you those different recipes. So let's go ahead, map point, and head on down to here. Now the most optimal is obviously just to wait until you've saved up enough experience, but if you're just playing through the game and you're going through... Um, you're just playing through the main story, you don't care about the side quest. I think the most optimal way for you to do this is just to go to the one, uh, the 1 1.5 time multiplier. It's only 300 gil. You don't have to have a whole lot of gil saved up to do it. And that one you can recycle all the time. Like every time you complete a quest, just go ahead and head over there and do it. Uh, lets you level up faster and you don't have to hoard this experience like I have. Um, 
if you're playing the side quest, the hoarding the experience is the best. Eventually, you're going to get 10,000 gil paid to you from completing quests anyway. So you can essentially do this for free, especially with the guy who wants you to go take pictures. It's essentially 100% free uh, every time you complete his quest. I believe he starts out giving you 5,000 gil, then 7,500, then 10,000 and then I just got 12.5 for him, and then I get uh, I have another quest, which I would assume would be 15,000. Uh, so he really just pays for you to do this. Um, so it makes it really nice to do his quest, get your gill, and then be able to um, uh, be able to do this uh, hotel here that gives you the times two multiplier. So let's go over there. And we'll do this and I'll get my experience and then I'll go show you guys the two recipes now see like this isn't a Exploit or a glitch or anything. It's just actually part of the game and it's a little bit. I don't like it I don't think I like how it works like how badly you can kind of it, it's kind of an exploit But it's kind of built into the game um, but it's kind of bad how much you can level up off of this because like that quest that I'm on the main story quest uh, the last main story quest, I was fighting stuff that's like level 18, and I'm level, I'm gonna be like level 40 after this. Uh, probably not 40, but I'll be close. I'll be high level. So I'm gonna be way overpowered for, uh, I'm gonna be way overpowered for the main story, but I guess that's fine. So you come down here, and it is 10,000 gil to stay, but it multiplies your XP by 2, so let's go ahead and do this. And it's also a great uh, time. Uh, it's always just fun to do this at the end of the, my, my gaming sessions, really. I just enjoy doing this at the end because then I get all of this time. You see, it's been three elapsed days since I've actually slept, uh, you can see. Uh, so I've been doing quests. And I'll explain another thing really important to this in just a second. Okay, so you can see I have 33,788. And as soon as I click A here, it's going to double it up. And there is my 66,000. We'll see how much. I think I was level 4 with Noct or 34 with Noctis. So. We did get to level 40. We're level 39 with everybody else. It's from the one quest uh, where you split up and Noctis is the only one getting experience. And then one time, uh, Prompto died on me. Uh, and so did Gladios. So it was just me and Ignis. Uh, but there is all the different skills leveling up there. Um, but one of the key things to this, once you hit level 30, it's either 30 or 31, I don't know, I was doing this, so I don't exactly remember which one it was at, this one's pretty I think I have most of these pictures, let me, let me save this one, I kind of like that picture, alright, I think I have most of them, he tends to take repeated pictures if you keep going to the same areas, um, but one of the big things is when you get to level 30 or 31, I'm not 100% sure, um, Pretty much same difference, 30, 31. Uh, you will be allowed to auto drive at night. Ignis will uh, drive you at night. He won't have the the um, he won't tell you that he won't drive at night. He won't make you drive manually. So you'll still be able to do your auto drive at night, which means you can fast travel between locations, making it so you don't have to sleep uh, or run or manually drive or fight level 30s at night. So the good thing about that, but even if you are um, below that and you need to, and you're trying to conserve it through days, go ahead and do hunts. Try to get to locations and do the night hunts uh, during the night. That can kill and burn the time there uh, until you get to level 30 and then you don't need to worry about that. I haven't been working too hard on hunts. I've mostly just been uh, doing the side quest. I thought I'd go back and probably do the hunts once I've kind of used up all the side quests. I think I've already got like 40 something complete. Where is the... Is it o it's over here. Um, once I finish up all the side quests, um, I don't know if I'm actually going to finish them all. I at least want to get the 80 for the achievement. I don't think there's an achievement for finishing all of them, but uh, it is definitely a really nice uh, way to maximize your experience for the side quests, uh, as well as you can do this to maximize your experience for the main quest. But here is another way that you can really maximize it. Go to the camp here. And you'll have two... I have two different recipes currently. 
Um, there may be more for better. Okay. And they are right here. The multi meat sandwich increases your experience points earned by 20%. And then down here, the stacked ham sandwich increases your experience points by 50%. Uh, so that's one you really want to do. Um, the, the ham is kind of the hardest uh, ingredient to get. Um, I think I've only had one, but I haven't really been searching out to buy it. Uh, this one is much more easy and uh, much more easy to get all the ingredients to be able to make it. Uh, because all the ingredients that I have, I haven't really been buying ingredients. Uh, so all my ingredients have been earned from doing side quests and stuff like that. I should probably go through and try to buy a bunch of the ingredients for this so that I can maximize my experience even more. Um, but another way to max I have one more way to maximize your experience here before the end. I know this is kind of all over the place, but it's kind of hard to it's kind of a lot to go through because if I wanted to show you kind of the XP, I couldn't go to the campsite first, so it, it, it got kind of out of order to the way I guess I could have cut it up, but I wanted to kind of do this live recorded. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of that. And the last way is through okay yeah let's get through all of this the last way is through the ascension there are different things or different skills that you can unlock uh that will boost your xp or give you not boost your xp it'll give you xp for different things so we'll go into ascension and it is under uh what is it under it's under techniques no it's not under techniques what's it under here we go, exploration. So the first levels are to gain uh, AP for long trips and stuff like that. But if you go to the next one, it's for gain experience for long trips in the car. Gain. Uh, where is this one? Uh, that one doesn't have it. Where is it? Gain experience for long trips on cho by Chocobo. Uh, gain experience for winning Chocobo races. Uh, this one does not have it. Or is it gain experience for catching fish? Uh, a lot of these are expensive, so you can't really afford them. Uh, but like the 99 ones, this one is actually a really good one. I'll probably unlock it maybe here real soon for gaining experience for long trips in the car because I tend to go from one side of the map to the other uh, doing quests because quests will be like over here and they'll be given from way over here. And then if I was gaining experience, I'd probably just let the five minutes go. Uh, text on my phone or something like that while we're driving across getting free experience and AP along the way uh, but guys I think that's it for the maximizing your experience I think that's all I've got for it um, I guess you could look at it as an exploit but it's really just built into the game uh, you just got to use it the right way uh, if you got any questions let me know but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out